welcome to today's video i'm trust and this is a ts tech talk video on today's video i am going to show you how to use ideogram to create different artwork and as well as create um fine uh logos or fine test images just like this one i am sure you might have seen um this kind of images or logo um on the social media i am going to show you guys how to create this on ideogram now um if you are using ideogram for the first time you actually need to uh, sign up so uh, let me open a browser brave browser then on the url um just going to type ideogram so it's like instagram but ideogram like idea gram so type ideogram.ai I actually have to type it on Google so that um, it give me the result. I actually was going to type .com, I usually do. So I have to search on Google. Now you need to actually log in. You have to log in making use of your Gmail or if you use the different account, you can also log in with different account. And there is also Instagram and then Discord. You can log in through them. Now, um, I usually use Gmail account. So I've already have my account logged in. So no need for me to log in right there. I am just going to open a different browser, um, Chrome browser. So now this is ideogram. So when you open ideogram for the first time, it's going to automatically load up and display all of this for you. Now automatically it's going to display the trending information. So you might not actually get to um, get to know that particular prompt to create that test image which I created, but I already have it saved up. So if you actually want to get all those tests, you actually need to scroll and scroll and scroll. And most time you might not find what you are looking for. So uh, most of the times, all you need to do is to refresh. Now, if you refresh multiple times, it's going to display the image for you and show you um, probably what you are looking for. Now, let's assume this particular test, like let's say I'm actually interested in recreating this and maybe I'm not interested in doing it right now. Whenever you see a test you are interested in, all you need to do is to click on this heart icon right here. Click on the heart icon so that you can have it saved. That is like saving it up. So when you click on that, you have actually have it saved. So it's now saved on your profile. You can always come back and you reuse it. And let's assume this other one also. Let's say this Sophia. Let's say this Sophia, you are also interested in using or recreating this. All you need to do is to click on the love icon and also you need you do not need to actually open the image you can see that icon right here so let me scroll down a little bit i think i like this so i'm going to click on this love icon now it has selected it for me this is also nice i am going to save it up now if you want to start creating the images or you want to start creating with prompt you can always come to your profile image this is my profile image on the bottom left where it says me so all i need to do is to click on that particular area and it's going to um, navigate to my profile section so under my profile section is going to display my generated right now if you want to see the previous image you liked all you need to do is to go to liked now if you come over to like, you are going to see all of the images you've liked. Now you can start recreating from here. So like I told you, I want to create that test image and I already have it saved up. So this is actually the most common one. People use this a lot. So you I already have it saved and I'm going to share the prompt on this video. So I didn't save everything. I just saved most of them. Now the prompt to use when you click on it is going to automatically display. And then this is actually the prompt, guys. This is actually the prompt. So normally to create this image, all you need to do is actually um, click on this uh, plus icon right here uh, on this image. Let me highlight that particular section. This one right here, that image icon, you need to actually click on it. When you click on it, it's going to um, display some option. And when it displays some option, you can now recreate it. Now you notice everything has actually displayed. All of these are already added up so leave them on default because the image was already generated now all you need to do since you just want to add your name right here all you need to do is to change this name you can see the name is called Amo, right so all you need to do is to change this name and then after you change the name you scroll down and you click on generate generate right here so that is as easy as um, that is all you need to do. So you just need to generate that particular image. Now let's go ahead and change the name. Like you know my name. My name is Trust. So right there I am going to type Trust. 
and then i am going to scroll down a little bit and i'm going to click on generate so it's going to take some time you can notice on the bottom area right now it says generating uh sorry generation progress now it i've actually generated and it's still working it's still in progress you just need to allow it to get to 100 percent and you can now start working so um it's almost done okay generation completed so this is actually the result to my generation this is what it has generated i can click on next to navigate to different image that it generated and most times guys it's not perfect most times it makes mistake but i think this is actually style um trust it um, added the arrow and the u together so i think i am not in need of this which is actually a mess but the rest are actually okay so i think i'm okay with that now if you want to save this up all you need to do sorry to scroll down it's too much now all you need to do is to click on this area right this uh three dotted icon right here click on that or you might want to share the image you can just do that click on the three dotted icon and then you hit download now when you download this image this image is going to be saved on your device so guys um another way to this image is already saved i can open it is already on my device you can see this opened on my device now let me go back to the browser so guys another way to actually generate your image let's say you do not have the prompt i use right let's say you did not see this image but you actually have access to this prompt just like i said i'm going to share this prompt in the video hold on i am not able to edit that so all i need to do to edit or to copy that image is to actually click on recreate because i am not able to okay now i am able to do that so i'm just going to highlight all of this highlight everything and copy now let me assume do not forget the name of this account is trustpath right this is trustpath so i am going to sign up another account on i am going to sign up with another account on brave browser so this is brave browser i am going to click on sign up and i'm going to sign up with totally different accounts so let me pause and then sign up all right so i just signed up and the next process is to complete my sign up i am going to call this stanley trust all right complete registration so this is going to take some time and uh, not too much time though it's going to take time and display all of this information now the reason why i'm coming or following this process is just to prove to you guys that um once you have the prompt you'll be able to reuse it so all you need to do to start creating with the prompt i am sharing in this video is to click on the plus icon so now when you click on the plus icon you'll be able to paste the prompt that i copied initially and i'm going to change the test to stanley um don't forget to type everything in cap stanley and then i'm going to um confirm that is on version 2 is already on version 2 selected on default so all i need to do is to generate so i am okay the only thing i need to change is the name and then click generate and it's going to start generating and do not forget guys this is a different account from the previous one so if i share this um, prompt with you all you need to do is to paste in the prompt and you are going to get the result but um this is not giving me exactly the same result um i think something is going to be wrong somewhere uh it's diff it displaying different flowers and it's not looking exactly like the previous one but the name is actually very accurate and the flowers are still not bad but not exactly what i was expecting so let me see or let me try to generate that again um everything is selected so um i think what was actually missing is some information now um what i did not select is actually some information from this area so um looking at this one looking at this one right here i have something selected you know what i'm just going to back out to go to the previous one so that i am going to get it accurately right go to the like video um scroll down to the exact or uh, original image i think is this one and then i want to actually see what was selected so i'm going to do the same thing now um painting vibrant 3d and conceptual art now i'm going to go back 
there is no painting displaying here so all i need to do is to click on this area that says see all to see more of it so there is painting there is vibrance right let, let me just follow it accordingly painting vibrant 3d and conceptual art painting vibrant where is 3d and conceptual art right conceptual art this one so let me go ahead and generate again and hopefully i should get a better and a more accurate result this time i am very sure that i am going to get a better and accurate result so let's see how it goes let's wait for it now um it's looking 3d like looking a bit better better okay finish generating or generation completed now i'm going to click on the image and this looks better than the previous one but is not accurate with the um, first one now i think what the only mistake right here is actually the size of the image now the size of the image is what is making it look if not this one should be very close to this one very close not the same very close i think i'm still missing something though but all I'm trying to say is, um, with time, you are going to perfect this. I do not want to make this video any longer than it already is. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on my next video. If you have more questions regarding this, please leave it on the comment section. Peace.